skin, Big Bandage. Hi everyone. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about body acne. I'm sure that even if you've never had body acne, you know what it is. You know that it's characterized by the same red bumps that afflict our faces when we have acne. It's typical on the chest area, um, on the shoulders and the back. It's even typical on the backs of arms and even on your butt. And like the acne that is on our face, the acne that's on our body can be just as resilient and resistant to treatment. So it's important to find um, a skincare product and a routine that works for your skin and to stick to it and be consistent with it because that's how you're going to receive the best results. And also a side note, there's going to be a Banish Kit giveaway. The Banish Kit is fantastic. There's going to be one winner picked. So I'm gonna ask you guys a question later on in the video and I want you to answer it in the comment section and we will pick one winner to receive a Banish kit. So let's get started. I've always said that the best defense is a good offense and that means having a good skincare product to fall back on. If you haven't already read my article on the five best products for body acne, I highly recommend that you do that. And as well, maybe check out some of the other articles that I've written on how to get rid of body acne for good. Even the best um, body acne product out there still is going to need to be used in conjunction with other good hygienic habits. So if you want the best chance at getting rid of your body acne, here's a couple of extra tips that might help you get there. Don't exfoliate so much. I know it's hard not to. I'm a big proponent of exfoliation. It's fantastic to loosen up um, dead skin cells that might still be stuck to your skin and loosen up any dirt and debris in your pores and just wash them away. However, when we have acne, especially body acne, we think that our skin is tough and it can handle anything. And so we tend to scrub really harshly or really excessively. And you should really only be using a exfoliator once, maybe twice a week at most. As much as it feels good to exfoliate, just take a step back and try to exfoliate a little bit less. Otherwise, those bumps are only gonna look redder, your skin is gonna look more aggravated, it's probably gonna be drier, it's just a mess. A lot of people will probably also tell you that showering every day is a little bit overkill, and I used to think the same way. Especially with my curly hair, I don't like to shower every day because it, it strips my skin of natural oils. But when I started going to the gym, I started seeing a real need to shower every single day. Just think of all of the things that your body encounters during the day. Think about all of the sweat and all of the dirt you've encountered. Maybe you've shook hands with a lot of people. Maybe people have just been around you, breathing on you. Ugh. You wanna wash all that stuff away. If you have body acne especially, you might be more prone or susceptible to things like that. And so even though it may have a small negative consequence of stripping your skin a little bit, adding a moisturizer at the end of the shower can really just eliminate that problem right then and there. If you're tackling your skin issues proactively, adding a little bit of moisture for the moisture that's taken away, it's not gonna make much of a difference at the end of the day. However, not always logical. Sometimes we just can't shower every day and some people's skin really just can't take a shower every day. You know, you can definitely have acne prone and sensitive skin and some of those people, they have showering schedules because that's how sensitive their skin gets if they shower too often. I totally get that. For people like that, it might be better to look for a wipe, a cleansing wipe of some, time, uh, of some kind. Some people might find a baby wipe to be useful other people might choose um, treated acne wipes, such as uh, I think Yes to Tomatoes has a great product, salicylic acid wipes. Some people might prefer to just do a quick wipe down with those and call it a day. That way their body doesn't you know, get robbed of those essential oils, but you can still feel clean and free of dirt. Another important thing, if you're suffering from body acne, especially on your back, is think about your hair. If you're a female or a male with long hair or hair that's down a lot, that hair can sometimes have product in it, or it can sometimes just grab things from the air that then when you're either washing your hair or you're sweating, that stuff's kind of leaking down onto your back and that can get trapped in the clothes you're wearing and trapped against your back and all that moisture and friction. It's just the perfect environment for bacteria to thrive. And another simple thing is to really just look at the clothes you're wearing. You know, it's awesome to wear those super tight, you know, Lululemons to show off that booty and all the muscle you've been gaining at the gym. 
but you have to pick fabrics that are gonna wick away the sweat. You don't want something that's super tight and non-breathable because again, that same problem of trapping that bacteria and not allowing the skin to breathe, it's just going to create a breeding ground for that bacteria to thrive and that's going to result in more acne. As you can see, there are a lot of different things that we can do to ensure that our bodies remain acne free. For some people, it may just be as simple as throwing their clothes in the, in the hot water in the wash instead of washing it on cold. For some people, it's adding in a product like a body wash that's treated with tea tree oil or with um, salicylic acid. And unfortunately for other people, body acne is indication of a deeper hormonal issue that these things probably won't tackle sufficiently. So if you have chronic, chronic acne on your back, the type of acne that leaves very deep scars and marks and that's there's just acne at any given time, you may need to see a dermatologist to see about treatments like Accutane or topical retinoids that may tackle the issue on a deeper level. So I hope after this video you at least feel a little bit better about your body acne. It's a totally normal, totally common thing. Lots of people have it. Lots of people are embarrassed about it. There's no shame in having body acne. And I hope that after listening to this and reading the articles that you feel a little bit more hope that you'll be able to get rid of your body acne for good. My question for you guys today is, I usually ask what your favorite products are for stuff like this, but I'm interested to know if you've tried anything, maybe something drastic, maybe something not so drastic for your body acne that was either just disastrous or it didn't work. So what kind of body ac acne treatments have you tried that you either didn't like or that made your acne worse or it just didn't plain work? Let us know below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and informative and I will see you next time. There's a hope this way.